Hey everyone, welcome to Pros of Eden. This is a health vlog. I wanted to share one of my favorite supplements that I take daily. And I want to share it with you all because it is truly amazing. And the name of it is Amazing Grass. And it has all types of greens in it. Wheat grass, spirulina, chlorella, broccoli, spinach, all your super grasses. And then it has fruit like pineapple, cherry, uh, I forget what other fruit, but different types of fruit. And so you take one scoop of this a day. And when I tell you all personally, and my husband, he takes this stuff religiously too. It energizes your body, it beautifies your skin, it cleanses you out, it is a perfect detox. I always say like when it's time to fast and you're doing long fast, and maybe you work on a job where it requires a lot of energy, so you just can't do a water fast. You can take this in your water. It will be enough to empower you with the nutrients to be able to get through a fast, but it's going to be truly a fast because it's, it doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste bad, but it definitely doesn't taste good. And it is still a sacrifice. So whether, I always say where there is a will, <laughs> there is a way. If you truly want to fast and pray, you can. Um, so especially for people who are on medication, I always um, recommend doing this. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna take one scoop of this, put it into, I like to put it into water. You can put it into juice and you really won't even taste it at all. Um, but because I don't want the sugar, I just want the nutrients, I don't want any of the other added calories. I am just gonna take mine straight up in water. It's gonna be a little bit grimy, you know, but it is what it is. We do what we gotta do for our health, right? And then I'm just gonna chug this like a shot and be done with it. And when I tell you all, I'm gonna be so energized, it's crazy. And how many of you know greens are so amazing for your body because it alkalizes the body and with an alkalized body, things like cancer and that kind of disease and infirmity, it can't withstand it, it can't live in that kind of environment. So we want a healthy temple, and here's a good start. It's not bad, it's not great. It just is what it is. Listen, I have tasted a lot of worse things. If any of you have tried spirulina, you know what I mean. It tastes like death. It tastes like something I, not, is it spirulina that tastes like that? No, it's something else. It's not spirulina, let me think. Sea moss. It's sea moss that's disgusting and that will make you gag and you will be wondering if you just drank your own throw up. I've never tasted anything so bad, but it is excellent for your health. I have to put that in a smoothie or I take it in a capsule. There's no way I could drink that stuff straight up. It's disgusting. Spirulina is fine. You can take that straight up like this because this is basically spirulina, wheatgrass, but that sea moss. In the comment section, if you know what I'm talking about, that sea moss is on a whole nother level. My husband, who can take anything and gush it down, he had that and he literally, he, he just spit it out. He couldn't even, he couldn't bear it. So we had to put it in like a smoothie. That stuff is gangsta. Like my husband would be done with this, but I can't. I have to take it in like small cups. But when you take it straight up like this in water, instead of putting it in a smoothie, I feel as though, though it goes into your bloodstream right away. And like even now, I can feel a kickstart in my energy. So a lot of people, you know, they always think about skincare. What do you do to make your skin youthful, glowy? Um, and one of the things is, yes, skincare is important. And I've done a video about the skincare products I use, but really you cannot outdo your diet like whatever you eat whatever you drinking lots of water staying hydrated because the skin is an organ all of those things are going to help to beautify your skin and make it clear and glowy from the inside out the skincare is just extra to be quite honest it's all about drinking water eating your greens a healthy diet 
cutting the sugars out. I know nobody wants to hear that, but cutting sugar out of your diet is going to make the skin more resilient, youthful. Yeah, I know it sucks, right? But the good thing is when you cut sugar out of your diet, you don't miss it. I have a book called The Sugar Blues and it's phenomenal because it talks about what sugar does to your body and how it's more addictive than cocaine. And once you get it out of your system, you truly don't crave it. And it's the truth. But the moment you go back to sugar, not even the first day, but like the second or third hit, it's a wrap. Now you are hooked on sugar and you're like looking for your next sweet treat, looking for something sweet. And then you have to start the whole detox process all over again, which is why I love keto because it really cleanses the system out. It is a game changer, but I like healthy keto. I don't subscribe to the keto where you see people doing all the ranch and all of the bacon and cheeses and all that dairy because that clogs the artery you still have to use wisdom and be smart yeah you can do those things but it's not the best for you i like to do a healthier keto where i do balsamic and vinaigrettes for my salads i do not eat a whole bunch of bacon though it's permissible it is not the best thing to do unless you want to spike your cholesterol um, I balance out my red meat. I eat a lot of fish and chicken on the keto, a little cheese, not a lot of dairy. I try to do a dairy free, but I do have yogurt for a probiotic. But even with that, I try to kind of mix it out with dairy free yogurts, oat milks, almond milks, um, because then you're like raising the game level and you're going to see amazing results, not only in your health, but when you go take your physical with your blood work and things like that. So that's just a little tip that when you're on the keto I know they say you can have all the bacon and the meat in the world but be smart about it use wisdom and your carbs you're gonna you know get that the good carbs like your vegetables you want to eat like zucchinis and broccolis and um, you want to stay away from rice you want to eat things that are going to be nutrient dense um, but your body's going to benefit from it. So a lot of greens, lots of vegetables. You don't have to go without vegetables. I know people do that carnivore diet. It's just not to me smart. It's not a real, uh, healthy way of living. It's not something you could do long term. I just don't think it's beneficial. Our body needs vegetables. Our bodies thrive. They love vegetables and fruits. Why would you exit out that food group? To me, that doesn't make sense. So you got to do what works for you, but I am a proponent of a more balanced keto diet that stays away from the bacon and the ranch, but that's just me. Okay, it's taking me like several minutes to get this. Usually it takes me, I'm not going to lie, maybe two minutes when I drink it like this to get it down. And I'm usually going between that and my coffee. All right, and that's it. So, amazing guys. You can find this at Publix. You can find this at GNC. Amazon, of course. I get mine on a subscription delivery from Amazon, so I never miss a beat with my stuff. Um, and it's a game changer. It's truly amazing. Amazing grass will always be with me.